Andrew Tate is the top G of Islam, and in his mind, the G in top G apparently stands for God. Yes, Andrew Tate, the new poster boy for all things Islamic, is now encouraging his followers to call him Lord, Savior, and God. Let's look at a few quick examples. The devout Muslim convert who's being paraded around the world as proof that Islam is true tweeted two days ago, I am the last superhero of masculinity as every other man has glaring, obvious failings. Only I am absolutely complete and perfect in every possible way. I am the last hope for mankind. I will save everyone, all of you. Top G. So, Sharia-compliant convert Andrew Tate is the only thing that is absolutely complete and perfect in every possible way. He's the last hope for mankind. Sorry, Prophet Muhammad. Better luck next time. You're now obsolete because Islam finally has a real man. Yesterday, the Tater retweeted this from one of his fanboys, a.k.a. the Tater Tots. Who is Andrew Tate? In geography, my world. In history, my king. In mathematics, my solution. In mythology, my god. In astronomy, my universe. For the blind, it's light. For the hungry, it's bread. For the poor, wealth. For me, everything. So, to his followers, Sheikh Tater is their world, their king, their solution, their god, their universe. He's everything to them, and he obviously likes it that way. The Tater also shared this tweet, Who is Cobra Tate to me? He is my Lord and Savior. He has saved my life from the Matrix. He will forever be my godfather from above. He is the Matrix. He is God. Cobra Tate will never be replaced, ever. Thank you, Cobra Tate, for saving my life once again. Lord, Savior, and God. Gotta love the top G. Andrew Tate, celebrated by Muslims around the world for declaring that Islam is the only religion that lines up with his values, i.e. violence and misogyny. You might think that after converting to Islam, the Tater would become more humble as he realizes that he's a mere slave of Allah and as he acknowledges the sins he's committed. Instead, he's becoming even more narcissistic and egomaniacal because he's being showered with praise by millions of Muslims who are so desperate to cling to some sort of lifeline as the avalanche of apostasy continues to grow that they'll gladly overlook any amount of blasphemy and shirk. Why are Muslims, who claim that Allah has no partners, nevertheless treating a man like he's God? Because for 14 centuries, that's what they've been doing with Muhammad. Welcome to Islam. For men, by men, idolizing men. <laughs> This is a powerful religion.